So thrilled to be with you all weekend long alongside Adam Stone. I'm Michelle McMahon. That is Caitlin Christian. She will be our first server here in this matchup against the hometown star, Mary Brasha. Just a couple California girls out here That's playing. Right. playing some pickleball. What's not to love? Caitlin Christian made a deep One run zero. in Austin. The women's singles all the way to the final. There's Mary Brasha looking to make her run at gold. No AL in the draw. That's a beautiful shot Four. from Caitlin Christian. Yeah, inside out with the two-handed backhand from the middle of the court. Great movement and Two length zero. from Caitlin Christian. Russia. Uh, she can scamper around the court. She's got some great shot making on the run, especially on the forehand side. Uh, this should be a really good Time one. Out receiver, three zero. So what an opportunity for some new faces on Championship Sunday. Right out. Swing forehand volley for Mary Brasha. She has such a Great one of those. Whenever she gets an opportunity to use it, she really just cracks that thing cross court. Okay. Oh, right my out. goodness. I thought she came up with an angle from a very difficult position, but just missed it wide. Three zero. It's a nice dipping ball from Caitlin Christian, and she beelines forward as soon as she sees Mary Brasha's paddle dip low. And that is definitely the play. Your opponent's hitting up, you move forward. 4 0. Side out. One, four. Right out. Left too high on that backhand side from Mary Brasha. Very solid cross-court forehand volley from Caitlin Christian, who is uh, definitely looking solid to start game one. 67% win percentage, too. Four, one. And one of the tennis players coming over, but she's... That experience, as you right mentioned, out. Adam, certainly helpful. Yeah, high-level racket sport background definitely yes. helps in these situations. And a blistering cross-court forehand return for Mary Brasha. And you know, there's there's definitely uh, just a bit of pressure and expectations that come with that one seed. And Mary Brasha Point. walking into her serve. Took two, if not three, steps to get a little extra oomph on it. I love that. That's uh, how the technique I use to get two some more. extra power on my serve. I like to see her doing that. Point. This time, just holding three or four feet behind the baseline. I've seen Paris Todd work this in uh, to her game as well. Kind of allows you to receiver. step into three, that four. third shot after senior, senior pro single. Seems like he wins almost every event he enters. Three, four. It's in the blue hat, of course, as Adam mentioned earlier. Side out. Oh, good luck at Caitlin Christian leaning the wrong way. Joshua looking for that cross-court forehand, just caught the top of the net. Four, three. for Mary Brasha. And even though she didn't need to hit another one, she was moving forward. So I, I'm liking that com combination and that aggression in the court positioning. That is it. Of course, the, the finishing uh, two-handed volley was great, but a very soft touch on that initial shot from Caitlin Christian. Remember, 
Defending champ here last year was not Annalie Waters, though she was in the draw. Right as Caitlin Christian was several feet inside the baseline to strike that passing shot attempt. So to hit a clean winner when your opponent's in that great of a position was a nice job for Mary. Mm, that was a blast of a serve to start from Brasha. Yeah, I almost thought it, it possibly could have been long, but played by Caitlin Christian. And some really nice control of the kitchen line for Mary Brasha. So a slow start has been erased four, four. for her. Right out. The volleys of Caitlin Christian is something that's talked about a lot. Very impressive. And she's managed the transition so well from tennis to pickleball. Four, four. That's, that, is, that is feathery. The touch is so nice there. She does a great job of swinging through her volleys when she's in a comfortable position, which a lot of tennis players struggle with at first. Five, and four. then that slice backhand with a soft touch, short in the court. Really nice to have both right hands. Out. And a quality pass for Mary Brasha, showing some nice positive energy as she walks back over to the right side of the court to serve. Four or five. hard not to have a little panic <laughs> when, it, <laughs> when it clips the tape. I, I, I definitely panic in that situation, and that ball actually sat up in a good spot. Five, five. But the miss hit from Caitlin Christian, can't blame her at all for that. Side out. A little too much on that backhand approach from Mary Brasha, looking over at the bench. Five, five. That is a beauty. That up the line backhand stroke from Mary Brasha was beautiful. What a volley from Caitlin Christian to the open court. Six, five. Point. Caitlin Christian clipping the taper. It almost turned into a perfect reset. Put that last shot just out of reach of the Mary Brasha forehand. Seven, five. That possibly Point. played an out ball in that last shot, but the serve and the approach shot were so deep in the court from Caitlin, Caitlin Christian. Almost no shot for Mary Brasha to come up with the quality ball. Eight, five. Corner, corner. Side out. Some more positive encouragement to herself, Mary, after Caitlin Christian one point ago with some nice depth. Mary Brasha this time peppering the back of the court. Five, eight. Two. Yeah, Caitlin Christian looking for that one-handed slice drop. Got away from her. Sailed it well wide. Six, eight. Mary began playing pickleball in 2020 thanks to her parents introducing her. Yeah, that's phenomenal right control of the kitchen line from Caitlin Christian. Two or three really nice cross-court backhands and the uh, one up the line as well, which actually got her that finishing ball. 
Fun to watch Mary Brasha's progression. Got her first silver last year in Atlanta, and she's been on the rise since. So has Christian this season. Point. Such a heavy ball from Caitlin Christian. Yeah, I think that's a good point, Michelle, because that, that is a shot that Mary Brasha comes up with most of the time, and I think it just got on her quicker than she was Nine expecting. Six. that <laughs> the athleticism is there for Caitlin Christian and, and the wingspan really helps at the kitchen liner. And somebody that's made waves from the tennis side over to the pickleball side. And game point here. Right out. He saves one. Saves one, a little fist pump from her. All back over to the far end of the court, see what Mary can come up with. Put a little scoreboard pressure, Six, maybe get one, two, or more. Nice. Right and Christian gets it right back. Yeah, I believe Eight that points. is three now. Uh, on the backhand side with Slice up at the kitchen from Caitlin Christian, short in the court. And she can pair that soft touch on the one-handed Slice with swinging through with two hands. That's a lot to put in your opponent's Ten, mind. Six. Okay, and Christian will take the first 11-6 in a cool star here in the pickleball world. Maddox had the lead, and Stratman came back to take the game. Now oh, a big task ahead for Mary Brasha. That's an unfortunate bounce off the tape. Yes, it is. As she constructed a nice point up into that point, but that had other ideas. Zero, zero. That swinging forehand volley from Tasha from a very awkward position. Nice shot from her. And I, I would like to see her take a couple more cracks early in the point as Caitlin Christian has really been moving forward with a lot of aggression and success. Yeah, that what a start for Mary Brasha now. Swinging forehand volley and a beautiful roller on the backhand to the corner pocket with topspin. One zero. That's a reasonable look up the line from Brasha, and she has been looking uh, very early in game two to, to dip a few more balls with third zero shots one. as opposed to ripping through them more frequently. from Caitlin Christian down the line winner. Yeah, from uh, not quite the middle of the court, but she didn't have a, a phenomenal angle to execute that. And she has to get the ball past the forehand one, of Mary Brasha. So well done from Caitlin. That's a beautiful ball from Mary Brasha. Yeah, that, Cross court dipping on the backhand. That's exactly right. That's too good after a ridiculous serve to start the point from Caitlin one, Christian. One. Mary Brasha dug out of it. Grew up in Mission Viejo, California. And a footfall will be called on Christian despite admirable effort. Yeah, that was. Oh man, that was extremely close. What athleticism to, to even have a chance to not go in the kitchen right there from Caitlin Two Christian. One. That's a nice Four. shot from Mary Brasha. Good kitchen coverage too. Yeah, she just swats that on the on the forehand side and championship court. Three, one. Sporting the New York Hustlers gear. Major League Pickleball coming up in May. 
Great guy, wrong team. <laughs> <laughs> well, go out there and tell him you're say it to his face. Just Adam. joking, just joking. If he's, if he's Every team needs fans. <laughs> Four one. Every commentator does too, so go on and get yourself a fan. <laughs> well, I got my, I had my first sign. <laughs> In Houston, I had my first sign. Uh, it was for Dave and Adam, so I, I was pretty happy about That's that. Amazing. And what a change Five of events one. here for Mary Brasha, just storming out of the gate in game two. <laughs> that ball took a left turn on her at the last second, but really the, the key for me in game two has been Caitlin Christian has been volleying from a low position. In game one, a lot of her first volleys, second volleys, et cetera, were above one the five. waist. Mary Brasha is getting the ball down and forcing her to hit up nicely in game two. Two more low volleys from Caitlin Christian, but the touch shortened the court too good on that last one. That's just too good from Caitlin Christian. Mary Brasha acknowledging just that. Beautiful shot down the line. She looks to the crowd for more. Mary Brasha. I said at the, at the top of the match that she's a good scamperer. And that's exactly <laughs> what we saw on that point. Because Caitlin Christian going short in the court again. And her shot was just fine. It wasn't poor at all. So for Mary to get there and crack one up the line and force the error was well done. 5-2. And after a couple controlled rolls from the back of the court, Mary just rips a forehand at full pace and forces the volley error. Uh oh, maybe a, maybe a bug on the court or something. As <laughs> Caitlin Christian puts it on her paddle and then puts it over in the flowers. <laughs> Six two. Right yeah, that's exactly what I talked about. Uh, waist and above, especially shoulder and above from Caitlin Christian. There we go. <laughs> she can do it all with the court maintenance, Caitlin Christian. Right out. Play by play by, by you on that one. Oh, well, I mean, it's, it's important. <laughs> I probably just would have stepped on it maybe, <laughs> but, you know, maybe I shouldn't have said that on air. My bad. Six Exposed. Two. Adam Stone. <laughs> <laughs> Bug killer. Point. Yeah, and that's uh, that, that's one that you can't miss right there. As uh, well above the waist, and she was looking to carve that ball short in the court, which Seven I believe two. was the right decision. Just have to execute that. Beautiful shot Point. from Mary Brasha. A comfortable 8-2 lead. What a response. Yeah, beautiful dipping forehand. Side spin and top spin. No chance for Caitlin Christian, even with her athleticism and wingspan. 8-2. Side out. <laughs> Mary, she's got some, she has some funny reactions, positive and negative, as that backhand cross court got away from her. Two, eight. Point. Big serve from Caitlin Christian. Return sails long. Five point lead though for Mary Brasha. Caitlin's got to put some pressure Three, eight. and do it very soon. And that's beautiful back to back points from her and some nice positive energy with a fist pump. Four, eight. Wow. Four, eight. 
inside in, and she wasn't even balanced. Time when out. she opportunity and just scrapped Time those in. last three points and looked to the Five, future. Eight. Point. That's a nice pass from Caitlin Christian. As that swinging forehand volley of Mary Brasha has been Six, a big eight. weapon for her throughout the match. Point. Inside out ball from Christian. Yeah, and I Back think, within one. Yeah, and I think six, nine months ago, or uh, uh, yeah, she would have just ripped through the court with that. Yes. Now she Seven, takes eight. pace off with spin inside out. That is the right decision from Caitlin Christian. Point. So much of that transition from tennis is, you mentioned it, going just 70% with your swing and power ability. Yeah, and I mean, it seems simple. Just take a bit off. It's just not. Uh, you know, coming from that high-level tennis background. So you have to have that wrinkle hey, in hey. your game if you want to run deep in these draws. Come on. That's a beautiful return from Mary Brasha. Getting the serve back, she needed it. And she, she stuck with coming forward, and I really like that from Mary. Those previous two points didn't go her way. She didn't hang back at the baseline. Hey, hey. She ripped a return and came forward and was rewarded for it. Right out. Pretty good look, just catching the tape. Can't make them all, don't think she did anything wrong there. But either way, ball back over to Caitlin Christian, hey, looking hey. to capitalize. Wow. Point. Yeah, that's some really nice inside out stuff Time from Caitlin receiver, Christian the last couple. Between Mary Brasha and Caitlin Christian, who stormed out to a two game sweep over the one seed, Mary Brasha and Caitlin Christian is moving on to the semifinal. She joins us now to talk about it. Caitlin down 8-2 in game two. You rattled, rattled off nine straight points to take it in two games off the one seed. How did you do it? Um, I just tried to keep uh, reminding myself to play my game. Um, my game is based at the net. Just keep coming in, putting pressure on the opponent. and. When I do that, typically good things happen. So just a little reminder myself, kick myself in the butt to get into the net, and um, it just ended my way today. So it was awesome. Nice job out there, Caitlin. Way to get it done uh, in the uh, in that pr particular match against the one seed, Mary Brasha. So in 2024, I've really seen you grow leaps and bounds. You've added a bit of variety and nuance to your uh, singles game. Is there a particular shot or couple shots that you've been working on that I think has uh, propelled you to great success? Yeah, I think I uh, took a page out of your book. Um, when I played Judith a couple tournaments <laughs> ago, you told me to get a double-handed backhand, so I've been working on that a lot. Um, when I come up to the kitchen, I'm trying to hit less tennis-like volleys, which I've done for the last 20 years, so it's hard to take that out of the rep repertoire, but um, trying to um, learn how to just play at the net a little bit softer, uh, softer drop shots, and then adding that uh, double-handed backhand has been um, great for me so far. Nice coaching by Adam Stone. Credit to you, my friend. Uh, light question for you, Caitlin. We noticed at the breaks you tend to put that white towel and go ghost mode on the sideline there to regroup. Noticed it in Austin as well. What's the, uh, what's the story behind that? Yeah, you know, I've been doing that um, ever since I was in the juniors. That's just sort of my, my regroup. Um, I just put the towel on and I just sort of block everything out. Um, and I get into my own zone and that's sort of where I'm in the best headspace and where I can create uh, my, some of my best stuff on the court. So um, just zoned out everything and just um, excited to go back out there and compete.